57 year old Mike Tyson. Hi, uh, welcome to the channel. I'm Jay, and this is Our Two Cents, where we talk everything boxing and everybody's entitled to their own opinion. In today's video, we will be discussing Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. But before we do that, make sure you punch that like and subscribe button, and make sure you let me know and drop it below your two cents as I go throughout the video. So recently a fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul was announced. Now, when I first seen the announcement, I was like, what? I thought it was cap. No way Mike, no way Jake Paul and Mike Tyson are about to fight each other. It just, it doesn't make logical sense, honestly, just to give my two cents about the situation. But lo and behold, it was true. Mike Tyson has agreed to fight Jake Paul. Um, I'm not sure exactly when the date is. I really don't care. Uh, probably not going to watch the fight. But I do want to give my two cents about it because we talk everything boxing and everybody's entitled to their own opinion over here on this channel. So let me know and drop it below what you think about this. So my initial thoughts when I first seen this and found out that it was actually about to happen, I was like, I mean, it sounds good and it might be good for promotional reasons but other than that i mean not even and okay but other than that like i just this is this seems pointless to me it doesn't make any sense and it's, it's not even really good for promotional reasons and i don't know if i'm saying that because i'm a quote-unquote hardcore boxing fan and not a quote-unquote casual which i don't really like to use the word casual when we talk about boxing fans because Everybody start at some point. Everybody started out as a quote unquote casual, right? You you found the sport of boxing. You found first of all, you found the boxer you like, and then you got more into the sport of boxing. So I don't like when I don't really like when people call people casuals, and I don't necessarily agree when people be like, "I'm a fan of boxing. I'm not a fan of a boxer." When the reason you're a fan of boxing is most likely because you were a fan of a boxer first. But I digress. That's another video. So. When I seen the fight, I'm like, Jake Paul and, and Mike Tyson. I'm like, how old is Mike Tyson? So I Google Mike Tyson's age. I'm like, Mike Tyson is 57 years old. I believe he's 30, 30 years older than Jake Paul. I believe that's the age difference. So Mike Tyson was 30 years old in the middle of his career, and Jake Paul wasn't even born yet. And granted, I'm not necessarily a Jake Paul fan. I wasn't a fan of Jake Paul on YouTube. I'm not really a fan of Jake Paul being a boxer, even though I do appreciate what Jake Paul has done with his MVP promotions and how he's put women's boxing more in the spotlight, um, how he's letting Amanda Serrano headline his cards and, and help her get big paydays and get money. Like I, I, I like Jake Paul's business acumen, I guess is what you could say. But it's, and I guess I can, I can, let me see what the word is. I guess I can appreciate the fact that Jake Paul has got into a niche sport and found a niche for himself within that sport and was able to profit off of that. Now, as someone who loves the sport of boxing, I don't really care too much about watching Jake Paul fights. Um, just like I didn't really care too much about Mayweather with the exhibition, the exhibition fights like that. That's just not my thing. Like, I'm not saying if it's right or wrong, if they should or shouldn't be doing it. I'm just not really into the exhibition type fight thing. Like, that's just not my thing. I'd rather watch a real boxing match because I feel like with the exhibition fights, <clears throat> you're not, it's not really clear on what has been agreed upon in the contract. And I don't want to say it's scripted or it's fake. I don't really want to use those words. So I'm just going to say I'm not sure what's really been agreed upon within the contract. Now, with that being said, with Mike Tyson being 57 years old, and I'm not sure if the commission has even sanctioned this fight or said that it will be okay. I'm guessing they have because they're moving forward with the fight. What things have been agreed upon in the contract for this fight? Because even though part of me believes that Mike, Pike, Mike Tyson could still knock Jake Paul out, I just don't think that it's really going to be a high level competitive fight. And I honestly feel like, because if you look at the fight that Mike Tyson had with Roy Jones, now, even though I know I just said I wasn't a fan of the exhibition fights, I did enjoy the Mike Tyson, Roy Jones fight, you know, two older fighters that was 
you know, big fighters in their prime, older in age, still able to get in the ring, was able to work out and train. I had a different type of appreciation for that because of their age and the fact that they were still able to get in the ring and fight. But if you noticed in that fight that Mike Tyson had with Roy Jones, first of all, after the fight, Roy Jones was hurting. He, you seen him holding his stomach and he was saying, man, Mike hit hard. Roy was like, hey, he hit hard. And you also noticed in the fight, Mike Tyson did not even hit Roy Jones in the face. He didn't hit Roy Jones in the face with that fight. Um, Mike Tyson wasn't Mike Tyson in that fight. He tried to keep himself at a, at a certain level, I felt like, so that he wouldn't hurt Roy Jones. Like, I don't think they were in there fighting like they would have been fighting in their prime. They wasn't trying to hurt each other, right? They was trying to entertain, which is what an exhibition fight is, is for entertainment. So I do feel like that this fight will be purely for entertainment. I don't see it being a competitive fight. And honestly, I feel like it's a lose lose situation for Jake Paul. I don't to me, just to give my two cents, I don't think Jake Paul is gonna get the reaction that he wants out of this fight. Because it's like if Jake Paul beats Mike Tyson, it's like, dude, he's 57 years old. And if Jake Paul gets beat by Mike Tyson, it's like, dude, he's 57 years old. And you really can't just go up, go in there and, and beat up on a legend like that because it's you can go up there and beat up and beat up Mike Tyson. Like it's just not gonna fare too well with b- boxing fans and, and people who are fans of Mike Tyson. Like Mike Tyson is a living legend. Like every, you know boxing, he's one of the faces of boxing. Period. It's Mike Tyson. If you think of boxing, one of the first names you think of is probably Mike Tyson, no matter how old you are. Um, it's a lot of kids. It's a lot of things that I show my kids as they're growing up. And Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan, and Mike Tyson are the people that I intentionally introduce my kids to as they're growing up because I like to introduce them to them and to see their reaction. And I like to see how the no matter what generation or age you introduce your kids to these people, the response that you get and, and the wow and how impressed they are and how much they like them. Like it doesn't matter what age they are. You know what I'm saying? You show them Mike Tyson, Michael Jordan, um, or Michael Jackson, they're impressed with it. Like they, they never forget it. They remember who those people are. So I can't imagine Jake Paul going in the ring and just beating up on Mike Tyson and think that that would be received well by the public. So I get it. I mean, I guess maybe it's for entertainment purposes only. But it's just it's just to me, just to give my two cents, it's not a good look. Like yeah, I get it. Mike Tyson is a name. You're probably going to do some pay-per-views, but which audience is really interested in this fight? Like, let me know and drop it below if you're really like, oh, Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, I can't wait to see this fight. Oh, buy the pay-per-view. Like, let me know and drop it below if that's really your reaction or or let me know what was your reaction when you heard the fight announced. So far, across the board, from what I've witnessed, people not really excited about this fight. Everybody like, Mike, too old. It don't make sense. And even though I do believe people think that Mike Tyson could knock Jake Paul out. I mean, Mike Tyson can still knock you out. It don't matter that he's 57. He's still got the power. You see him training in the videos. He's still doing the, um, the pickable style. He's still quick. He still got speed. He still got power. So I, I do still, I do honestly believe that Jake Paul can knock out Mike Tyson. I mean, I do believe that Mike Tyson can knock out Jake Paul, but I don't want to see it. Like, I don't want to see it. If, if Mike Tyson is going to fight somebody, I guess maybe, you know, fight all day. Like, 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 Mike Tyson is 57 years old. I don't, I don't want to see anybody that's in the boxing ring, right? It's a combat sport. Um, it's a dangerous sport. People risk their lives. You hear it every day. People risk their lives. So you have to be more than 57 years old. That's what you risk your life to get away. And I don't want to think that it really is not this true. And I guess they really think it might sound good and like be good for promotional reasons. But I don't know. I'm curious to see what the rules will be for this fight. I'm curious to see if there's going to be a big interest in this fight. Um, I've seen Jim Paul post a couple of videos, kind of like going back at the back of the so that people are going to be able to see if people start moving behind him. He's kind of on tag team, like Tyson, and all this other stuff. But, like, this one, this is not a good one, Jake. Like, maybe you should have talked to him earlier to the fight or something like that. You already talked. But, other than that, you know, this could be a good one. You know, see how he was over. And people feel so type of way about that. So, just the fact that I don't think this will be a real competitive fight, which I guess is a good thing because of Mike Tyson's age. And also the fact that I think that Jake Paul is in a beautiful situation no matter what he's doing in his country. I don't know. I don't know. I just, 